Hello dear viewers. So this is another video from beautiful Omori, Omori Cho in Shimane Prefecture. Um, in this video I will give you a little tour of the beautiful, beautiful house where me and my little travel group uh, stayed for two nights. It's, uh, I stayed at many, many places all over Japan, but this, this was actually something else and uh, yeah I, I must say a pretty special experience so this place is managed by a company called Gungendo uh, which are the ones who invited me to this trip but not to make any videos I was invited here to just experience the place and give them some feedback on how they can make it attractive for uh, international tourists so this video is something I made on my own initiative and the previous one as well uh, just because I, I liked it so much just so you know um, so this place is an old samurai house it's over 200 years old but in the late 90s it was um, renovated pretty thoroughly uh, by uh, the owner of Gungendo, the company. A very nice and friendly lady who is uh, who actually joined us uh, for dinner last night. And uh, anyone can book a stay here. They, the house has two rooms. Um, I will show you very soon what it looks like it's, it's very big and i i will probably get lost during this house tour because it is quite confusing like how everything is connected not right now i'm kind of struggling with how to to do this little house tour in the best way but i think i should start here so this is one of the rooms uh, so i guess if you book this place you have basically the room starts or it's from here I believe so it's, it's not really a room it's more like a suite and like I said in my previous video like everything in this house is very very carefully selected uh, by by the owner and pretty much everything has has a story uh, everything is made by like local craftsmen and it's just, you know, the, the more you look at everything, the more you realize how much time and, and uh, energy went, is to, went into to designing this place. Uh, so for example, I guess here you can close these, but you can also have it open so that when you wake up, you get a, treated to a view of the of the garden for example like you know just small things like that uh, are really impressive and not something you see in, in every house so here's the the bed uh, obviously you can have more than one people sleeping here then they will put more mattresses and if you want to stay here it costs uh, around 40,000 yen per night but that includes Two meals and delicious meals like amazing <laughs> like the dinner we had last night took two hours or three hours to complete including dessert I'm not sure if, if that's kind of like the regular dinner that everybody gets but uh, the food is amazing it's mostly or only locally produced stuffs and it's prepared by a very skilled chef who is also actually a guy who moved here from um, from Tokyo a relatively young Japanese man um, so we're heading to the bathroom see this beautiful little garden here I, I told my my travel partner says oh i just need 10 minutes to do the house tour but now i realize it's already been five minutes and i've, I've just gotten started so we'll see how long it, this, this video will be uh, anyway here's like the, the 
the smaller of the two bathrooms. So here you have this. Let me see if I can. Yes, great. I can change to the ultra wide. So this is this kind of barrel type bathtub. Has some user fruits in there. Gonna be careful so I don't drop the lid. Pretty nice setting, of course. You can it's it's your private bath and it's only your room here on the other side. So I guess if you want you can just open the window here and you know enjoy the view of the of the garden from your from, from your bath. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, so so regarding the the price, so it 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 includes the the breakfast and dinner. It also includes all the drinks you want or all, all you can drink, alcohol, including like locally produced craft beers and also some wines, some Japanese wines, which are actually quite hard to get your hands on. Uh, some certain like limited edition wines and stuff. So if you Here's the toilet, maybe the toilet. Well, the toilet is also nice. <laughs> um, yeah, it includes all the drinks you need. So if you're if you're uh, someone who likes to sa to drink a lot, you could probably get a pretty good bang for your buck, thanks to that little detail. Uh, anyway, let's continue. Let's not forget to take off my bathroom slippers here as I enter, go back into the room. I did not stay in this room. I will show you the room where I stayed with shortly. the kitchen so here's where we had the dinner and everything was being prepared here in front of our eyes uh, this is like your very old school rice rice cooker rice stove oh it's nice and warm here i guess there's maybe still some fire burning somewhere i'm not sure maybe it has like floor heating because staying at a place like this in the winter, it's currently December, it is pretty cold. Uh, of course, you have lots of like comfort, um, like details to make it more comfortable. There's heaters everywhere and you have your uh, little thing in the bed, which actually, I think they said it has some small pieces of coal, uh, but to keep the bed very nice and comfortable. Of course, it's in, done in a safe way. Um, but still, if you wake up in the middle of the night and need to do, go to the bathroom, it's gonna get a bit chilly. But other than that, you won't suffer. So the second room is here. But before I show you that, I think I wanna show you the, the bigger of the two bathrooms. And here's also a little garden with some daikon hanging to dry. We actually ate some of these uh, with dinner last night. It was delicious. There's a bigger restroom. Here's the bigger bathroom. Well, let's see. I'm not sure where to switch on the light here, actually. Might get a bit too dark, but... Here's the bigger bathroom and the big bathtub, which they probably just emptied, but it was very comfortable. I took a bath here last night and the night before that too, and it was so nice, especially because the surrounding air is so cold, so it's very steamy and the water is hot and nice. 
it's pretty magical. That stove has like, had like a fire burning. It was super nice. Oh, this is a bit difficult. How can I avoid face reveal? <laughs> Like these glass panels are also like carefully selected, like from, or carefully selected. They're like recycled from uh, old houses that has been demolished or like, uh, yeah. Because this kind of glass, you will see some other rooms as well. Uh, this kind of glass is quite difficult to, to find these days. I guess this is a little smoking corner. And now let me show you the room where I stayed. So the first room is down there. And here's the second room, which is an old storage building. So they are, they're now connected, but before these two buildings used to be separate. So you can still see the parts of the old facade here and the doors as well. And the owner of the company and the owner of this building, she lived here personally for 10 years. So this used to be her home, but of course it has been changed a little to make it more accommodating to visitors. Here's one of the rooms. There's actually two rooms in this in this room. So if you book this one, you get access to, to both this room and also the upper floor, which I will show you soon. There's a piano in case you want to play some music. Not that much of a view. This was also like used to generate heat last night. And I think there's, it's not hot anymore. I think it's the, this, they have like a very, very delicious uh, local tea, uh, which has quite a distinct flavor. I don't know how to describe it, but anyway, this, that tea was, is in there. So it's, it has a very pleasant smell in the room when, when the heat is on. <laughs> And I was sleeping here in this upstairs room, which I'm actually quite tall. So it is a little bit cumbersome to walk up these stairs because the ceiling is very low, but thankfully they attached thick cushions to prevent serious injury. Yeah, here's the room where I was staying. Very comfortable. This room actually has a regular aircon neatly hit, hidden behind this panel, but uh, so it was very warm and comfy in here. Oh, I think this, I wonder if it's probably on the outside. Maybe it was a bird. Oh no, it's some, some insect. <laughs> uh, but I think a bird just hit the window here. Um, anyway, here's what I, where I was staying for the last two nights. And I'm very sad that I'll be leaving this place because it was super comfortable. I would love to come back here with my family. I also really like this, <laughs> this, uh, this painting. <laughs> it's super nice. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it's I've stayed in many different places in Japan, but this was really a, a special experience because it was so connected to the local community. Uh, as you, if you watch the previous video I recorded here, 
you know that this town actually has quite a lot of young people are moving here, which is rare. Most small towns in rural Japan are suffering or struggling with, with depopulation, but not here. People actually want to move here. They want to settle down here and have a family. Uh, the school was just expanded because the old one was getting too small. Uh, so lots of like positive developments and, and largely I think this company plays a pretty important role in that because with the fact that they are based here and have their head office here mean, means that there is uh, good opportunities to find work and it seems to be the kind of creative creatively minded company that can actually you know lead to good change in uh, yeah in in a town like this they come here they bring a little bit of hope and possibilities for the future and uh, when people of a certain mindset hear about a place like this they get very attracted by it and uh, want to come and be a part of it and that's exactly what seems to have happened here now we're back in the kitchen because i should show you all these jars containing various kind of pickle this is some sort of alcohol most of these are alcohols like liquors lemon syrup oh it says also the year when they actually put it in the jar so this was done this year Well, wow. Use the shoe. Wow, I would like to try that. It's use the liquor. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this house tour, which became way longer than I had expected. Uh, but a very fascinating place. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write them down with the comments, and I will do my best to answer them or point you in the right direction to where you can get the answers you need but yeah that's been it thank you so much for joining me and uh, see you again soon bye bye hey do